Now, let's talk about the different kinds of front vowels. We're going to study the front vowels from high to low. Long E is the high front vowel, and that means that the tongue is very close to the top of the mouth, and the mouth looks like it's almost closed. E. The next one is short I. It's a little bit lower. My chin and my jaw and my tongue will be a little bit lower. I. I. And then the third one is long A. Long A is a mid vowel, so the tongue is in the middle of the mouth and the mouth is halfway open. A, A. The fourth one is the short E, which is even lower. E, E. And finally, we have the short A, where the back of the tongue is all the way at the bottom of the mouth. A, A. Now, for all of these front vowels, the tip of the tongue must be pointed upward. So a front vowel means that here is my mouth with my teeth and here is my tongue. I want the tongue to point upward. In a central vowel, the tongue will be flat. And in a back vowel, the back of the tongue will angle upward. We know that the long E and long A sound just like the E and A in the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Those are the long A and long E. By making them tense, we mean maybe engaging your cheeks and definitely contracting your tongue and feeling that tension in your tongue as though you were flexing your arm. A, E. The other three vowels, short I, short E, and short A, are all relaxed. Your cheeks should feel like they're sleeping. I, e, a, a. When I say those five vowels in order, you're going to notice that my chin progressively and gradually lowers and lowers. E, I, a, e, a. So each time my mouth got a little bit bigger to make room for my tongue going lower and lower. Look again. E, I, A, E, A. So I'll talk about where the tongue needs to be precisely in the mouth for each vowel as we go over them in detail.